Mr. Secretary, we appreciate your being here and uh, appreciate your concern about Utah. <coughs> uh, the chairman raised the question of the memos on the National Monument. Uh, let me just share with you our experience. You weren't there, so we can be grateful for that. <coughs> you don't have this, uh, this in your memory, but uh, we in Utah do, so let me share it with you and you can understand why we reacted as strongly as we did. Uh, your, your predecessor, uh, Secretary Babbitt, same thing kind of happened. There were leaks in the paper. Uh, Washington Post discovered that the Interior Department was talking about a new monument in Utah. Now, and I contacted Secretary Babbitt and uh, went down to the department, spent some time with him and the top leaders of the department there in his office. And he assured me, much as you have assured the committee here, that this was just preliminary and that there was no decision having been made. And at the same time, and Secretary Babbitt knew how to send signals, <laughs> uh, he did let me know that um, the president was considering a trip to the Grand Canyon on the following Wednesday. And I then found out that the vice president had changed his campaign schedule and was going to be at the Grand Canyon on the following Wednesday. And I know enough about political campaigns to know that the president and the vice president's candidate do not change their travel schedules for a single appearance together unless a decision has been made. Uh, even though Secretary Babbitt said no decision has been made. Then when we said we want to see maps, we want to know what you're talking about, this is our state, at least tell us. Katie McGinty told me absolutely on Monday of that week there are no maps. No decision. This is just conversation, Senator. There are no maps. And 48 hours later, Leon Panetta, the, chair, the chief of staff of the President of the United States, called me to say, this afternoon at the Grand Canyon with the vice president there, the president is going to announce the creation of the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument and reveal the maps. And of course, we found out that maps had been circulating in the environmental community for months. The Sierra Club had had maps months before this, as Katie McGinty said, there are no maps. When you have that kind of experience, you get a little suspicious. So when the leak came out that there were discussions of national monuments in Utah going on, those of us who had that experience had the alarm bells go off. And that's why we fired the strong letter off to you and took the position that we did. Uh, you have said very graciously, and I appreciate it, that the work that uh, I did with Congressman Matheson and the county commissioners in Washington County and the Wilderness Society and the environmental groups to try to solve this problem of wilderness was the right thing to do. And after we did it, other counties in Utah came and said, let's do it again. And by coincidence, San Juan County which is one of the areas that's being, according to the leaks, considered for an Antiquities Act action, is one of the counties we've been working with. And we've just announced the public process of comment from San Juan County and all the stakeholders to try to duplicate what we did in the Washington County land use bill in San Juan County. And that's already underway. So that's why we feel so strongly about this that the Department of Interior will allow us to go forward with the process that you have acknowledged is the right process and resolve the problem. You're correct when you say in San Juan County some of the most magnificent wilderness in the country is there and needs to be protected. And we agree that it needs to be protected. But let's protect it in the way we protected the magnificent wilderness in Washington County rather than have another sweeping down activity of the federal government with the Antiquities Act and Washington knows best and I, I accept at face value your assurance that uh, this is just conversation. Uh, if indeed 
you're under instructions from the White House to do something dramatic and keep it secret from us, uh, I would ask you give me the wink and nod that uh, Bruce Babbitt did and don't be like Katie McGinty and just look at me and lie. I know you don't look at people and lie, and so I'm not suggesting that. But Secretary Babbitt was very, very careful in the words he chose so that he did not cross the line of a flat-out misstatement, and, and other members of the administration in the Clinton years were not. And we had that kind of experience. We sent a request for documents. We got the documents. We were able to prove absolutely from the documents that we had been lied to. And I share that with you so you can understand the angst that uh, this announcement or this leak had or created in Utah having, having had that previous experience. I want to talk about oil and gas. I'll wait for another round for that. But uh, I wanted to get that clearly out for everybody to understand. Maybe you felt we overreacted, but uh, that's because you had not lived through this experience. You are an honorable man. I don't think you would participate in that kind of thing. But we had that experience with the previous administration, and we're just, we feel just a little bit burned. May I respond, Mr. Chairman? Uh, if you'd like to respond, go ahead. Let me uh, first, uh, Senator Bennett, let you know that I do very much appreciate that history and uh, know what it's like to be on the side of uh, the state where the, somebody from Washington is coming in and telling uh, the state what it is that ought to happen with the federal lands located in that state. Uh, so I understand it. Number two, let me assure you that there is no direction from the White House uh, on any of this uh, for the Department of the Interior. Zero. Nada, nothing, okay? It just isn't there. Uh, number three. Th that, that's encouraging. Okay, <laughs> let, me also, let me also assure you of the following, and that is uh, the template that you used with the uh, Washington County Wilderness Legislation and the template that Senator Barrasso and all of you, I think, had pieces of legislation in uh, the 2009 Public Lands Act, as I worked on most of that legislation, that's a template that we ought to be using. And uh, I look forward to working with you and uh, the people of Utah uh, to identify where those areas are for whatever the appropriate uh, protection level might be. And uh, I think you were a pioneer in uh, doing what you were able to do in Washington County. Uh, it seems to me that we ought to figure out a way of replicating that. Uh, I've spoken uh, with the chairman about um, the need for us, hopefully, to come together, uh, Congress as well as the administration, in moving forward, perhaps with a, uh, a, a you know 2010 version of what you did in 2009. But it, as you know, uh, that legislation was very much a bottoms up. It's uh, what the what the American people wanted. It's uh, what the states wanted, and uh, that's our intention as we move forward in the formation of the conservation agenda for this country. Thank you very much. I appreciate that enormously. And, and as I say, we, we are well along the way to having the San Juan County bill move in the same direction as the Washington County bill, and we'll be happy to keep you fully informed on that. And I anticipate that by the end of this Congress, Mr. Chairman, we will have the San Juan County land use bill ready to go and ready to, to be signed by the President in the same way that Washington County one was. So I appreciate that reassurance, Mr. Secretary, and I think the people of Utah will be grateful to have it here on the record as well. And Senator Bennett, I would love to, uh, I would commit to you that I will come to Utah to meet with uh, the group that's working on uh, San Juan Wilderness, uh, as well as with the governor's group on uh, balanced environmental lands, I think he calls it, and I, I will do that uh, this summer. We'll always be happy to welcome you. Uh, Secretary Hayes came. and. Uh, they still remember that visit. I'm sure he does as well. But uh, we're, we're working on those problems, too. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator Shaheen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, I'm sure you're glad.